In this video, let's start with some miscellaneous problem based on the properties of determinants that we have started. Now we know various properties of determinants. In this video and the videos which we will be doing onwards this video, that means after this video, we'll be seeing some problems and those problems are based on the properties of determinants which we have studied in the previous videos. Let's see what this video has in store for us. There's a question and let's see how to solve this question. Now it says that without expanding and I've already told you whenever you find this without expanding that means you do not have to expand rather you have to use some properties. You have to prove that this determinant's value is equal to zero. Now when you see this determinant you see some things which are going on in a cyclic order. That means if BC is here, CA is here, AB is here. ABC in all is not there. Similarly B square, C square is here, A square is not there. A square, C square is there, B square is not there, A square, B square is there, C square is not there. And similarly for third column. So that means we have to apply some knowledge of ours so as to make things easier for us because ultimately in the last we should be getting zero. Now if you see in the first row, everything is there in B's and C's, no A's. If you see in the second row, everything is there except B's. And in the third row, no C's. So first thing that comes to my mind in the proof is why not to apply the operation that you need to multiply the row 1 by A because there is no A. Row 2 by B since there is no B and row 3 by C. When this happens, things become easier for us in the manner that my question now changes to A, B square, C square. A, B, C, A into B plus C. Similarly, A square, B square, C square because ultimately what you are doing is you are multiplying by B. Now, what people confuse here is that since everything is in square, you write here B square. I intentionally wrote this just to make you understand that this is a mistake. What you need to do is you are multiplying by B and not B square. So do not write here B square, rather write here B. So this is to be done that this is B, right? Similarly, here it is A, B, C now and here it is B into C plus A. You are getting this, following this, right? Lastly, what is there? You are multiplying by C. So it is A square, B square, C, A, B, C, C into A plus B. And close the determinant. Now, you see A, B, C, everything is now there. Here also it's A, B, C. What if I take A, B, C common? So if you take out A, B, C common, common from where you can take out, let's see, common from the second column, from the first column as well. So from C1, I write it from C1 and C2. C1 and C2. So if ABC is taken out as common, so it is ABC whole square that is coming out as common. And one more thing that if you multiply anything, then you have to divide also in mathematics. So here it basically is 1 by ABC also. Why? Because you multiplied and you didn't divide, then things would not nullify. So it is divide by ABC here. And this multiply and taking out commons will go on. Common from C1, common from C2. So 2 times ABC, here it is 1 ABC of this one. Inside things will be changing. ABC is common, only BC is left. ABC is common, only AC is left. ABC is common, only AB is left. Getting it? ABC is common, 1, 1, 1 is left, right? And here nothing changes, it is AB plus AC, if you open the bracket, it is AB plus BC, it is AC plus, you see here we are opening bracket, plus BC. Now see, here things cancel, th things cancel for our betterment, ABC is outside, I write ABC is outside, inside is what? Inside you find here it is BC, here BC is not there. You find AC, here AC is not there. You find AB, here AB is not there. So if I add C1 and C3, AB plus BC plus AC, AB plus BC plus AC, AB plus BC plus AC will come which is needed. So I write apply C1 
plus C3 wherein in C3. So what happens? Let's see. BC, AC, AB as it is. 1, 1, 1 as it is. AB plus AC. This is C3 plus C1. Where is C1? It is BC. Similarly, AB plus AC plus BC. Similarly, AB plus AC plus BC. Right? Close the determinant. Now what happens? We see that this thing is coming in all the three elements of the third column. You can take it as common. So ABC is already outside. AB plus AC plus BC has come. ABC already outside. AB plus AC plus BC has come. And you get a determinant. Determinant with BC, AC, AB. With BC, AC, AB. 1, 1, 1 and last column has what left? Since things have come out to be common, 1, 1, 1 is left. Now you know that from the properties that we've started, if two columns or any two rows are identical, the value of determinant is 0. So this determinant gives me the value of 0. 0 multiplied by any two things or three things or four things which are not 0 is 0 only. Even if these matters to be 0, then also I'll get 0 only, right? So 0 into something is 0, hence the value is 0 and hence the proof that yes, this determinant without expanding, we have shown that it comes out to be 0.